Hi everybody, it's Trisha Keel, Tamara's Key. Thanks for joining me again. Today we are looking at part two in our series on the study of the energies in the center, Gua, or the Tai Chi. The center of your home is generally referred to as the hearth, or the heart of the home. If you do not have a hearth, then create one. Uh, fake it. <laughs> to set up a table that has candles or some other fire element, not a television. Um, something where you could put photos of people that you love, um, memorabilia, maybe uh, a beautiful rock that you pick up while taking a walk with a loved one, or um, treasures that people, uh, like your children or, or your friends have given you that, that you want to stage uh, closely to the heart of the home. Um, drape it in colorful seasonal um, beauty whether it's uh, fall leaves or uh, pine boughs or uh, garlands of pansies or sunflowers and daisies try to always keep live seasonal color um, on your hearth you're, you're looking to maintain all five of the elements you want something metal which can be a candlestick um, you want something fire, which would then be the candle. You want wood, which would be your seasonal color. You want earth, which would be stones or crystals or a beautiful dish, a, um, something made of earth, like a little statue. Um, and let's see, earth, water, uh, water, water would be in the flowers uh, or the vase if you have seasonal color in a, in a vase. Uh, a mirror will also work. Anything, uh, a beautiful glass, uh, anything that's highly reflective or appears to be fluid, even a watercolor will give you water energy. Create the heart and the hearth of your home as a center piece for all your celebrations. If you don't have a fireplace, um, then fake it, as I said. Number two, the element of the center gua is earth as I mentioned in part one so you want to be sure that you have fire here a little fire not a lot of fire but some fire to generate earth energy because after every fire you have new earth and so if you have a barbecue you got ashes and if you have a volcano you have new land and and likewise if you have fire energy here then you add to the grounding and security that comes with the love of your home and your home's love for you. Um, to promote your security in uh, the center of your being, you want to check to be sure that you have locks on your bedroom door and your bathroom door, uh, especially if you have children or roommates. Uh, if you live alone, you still want locks on your bedroom door and your bathroom door. Do it for yourself, uh, just like um, just like you lock your doors to the outside at night. You even if you don't lock them, if you want to lock them, then you can. So give yourself the security of knowing that you have that kind of power over your space and can provide yourself that kind of security so that you can sleep or take care of bathing. Um, Unless you're trying to get pregnant, another way to promote your um, security and, and safety that comes with the uh, center gua is to clean out from under all your furniture, especially your bed. Now, if you're trying to get pregnant, do not clean out from underneath your bed. So let, it, let everything sit still. Don't, don't disturb the energy where you sleep uh, beneath the bed. Um, likewise, in case I haven't mentioned this before, do not keep anything under your bed except maybe linens or sweaters or um, uh, seasonal clothing that you would change out. This, you don't want to sleep on a nest of problems and worries like bills and records and tools and uh, roller skates. This is You don't want to sleep on stuff like that. So unless you've got to use this space for storage, keep it clean. Dust bunnies must go. <laughs> Unless, again, unless you're trying to get pregnant, in which case you're going to let the dust bunnies multiply. Finally, I want you to uh, consider that for the center of the heart to be functioning well, all its peripherals should be functioning well. 
pay attention, attend with your energy to the corners, the edges, the ceilings, the cracks, and the crevices. Clean your webs, all the little corpus delectables that are upside down in your windowsill. Open your windows if you can. See if you can um, get the vacuum cleaner and suck out all the little stuff that's in there. Clean um, the windowsills, the edges of the uh, frames around your doors and the tops of the of the window frames and as you pay attention to the outside edges so the inside will benefit as you honor your home your home will honor you until tomorrow this is Trisha Keel tomorrow's key thanks for coming